Okay, so yeah, we're back on. Welcome back to part three or four, however I stitched them together about uh, me overcoming a three-year depression and how you can too. Just some insider insider knowledge that worked for me or whatever, giving you my method or whatever. Okay, so first of all, I should say third of all, since I'm on a couple topics here, the underlying reason why most men are depressed, and I can only speak for men because I'm not a woman, you know, whatever, but I'm sure it's fairly universal, but maybe not the same. I think it's got to be different, but who knows? I think the underlying reason why most men, self-included, uh, get depressed is usually over a girl, over a woman that they can't get, keep, maintain something, something, something. Usually related to the pussy. Mm -hmm. Can't get it, can't keep it, can't hold on to it, can't something support it, don't want you. I would have to say that rejection, rejection by a girl, by a woman that you really want to have in your life is probably the cause of upwards of 83 to 90% of most men's depression unrequited love as they say or whatever lust unbridled whatever you want to call it or whatever it's biological for sure for sure and that's what makes us human that's what makes us monkeys or whatever this this burning desire you know or whatever little known fact to most men is you're overthinking probably about a 40 dollar problem but some dudes killed himself over this shit you know some dudes like myself would get driven into like emotional mental spirals that will cripple and stifle your ability to fend for yourself and earn a living even in some cases because your brain is too paralyzed and fixated on finding out what's wrong and solving a problem in my opinion, uh, I, I think that men in general are like kind of pre-wired to be problem solvers. So self-included, it's like if I see something wrong, I'm like, eh, you know, I should probably fix or replace or repair that thing, you know, is what we think. So that's probably the wrong approach to take with humans especially your girlfriend wife or whatever on a lot of things or whatever because you can't fix everything there's no fucking way it's not possible you don't have enough there's not enough hours in the universe or you just don't have all the skills to do that shit and you got to accept that you have limitations man so you can't always solve every problem that's presented to you you know Nice if you can solve a lot of them, but you can't take, you can't handle all of them. And uh, the ironic part is that you might not be able to, you might be able to handle everybody else's problems except for your own. You know, I'm the other way around. I actually handle all of my problems and issues and conflicts first. And then I have like maybe three to six percent of battery power left that i could devote to the rest of the world etc for real uh, this is but this is why i'm doing this show and shit right now this this is my way of actually giving back some information that was uh some of my time that i spent maybe i could save you instead of spending three years on trying to figure out what the fuck's wrong maybe you could figure out what's wrong in three days maybe might be maybe my little shit video here will be one of the one catalysts that helps you break out of your cycle of depression, despair. It's very a destructive cycle or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You need to get out of there. So, yeah, get to a happier place, man. Stop fighting social, as I said in a previous uh, part of this thing here. Yeah, I need to join these clips together and make just like one big file. So anyway, yeah, that is, uh, that's how I got over the depression there. Yeah. If you guys have any questions or comments for me or really, you know, I'll do what I can since I, I have time to fuck with this right now. For those of you, okay, I, I say this because a lot of times my videos and stuff that I'll do for people in all aspects or whatever, they don't get any traction in the world for like two or three years or more. And then people will write me back and be like, oh, yeah, whatever and whatever. And I'll be like on some other shit in a different country at that point in my life and whatever. But if this information is useful to you, I'll, I'll see what I can. If you reply to me within 
recent times of this video being published, okay? I do read all my comments and I reply when I can and get back to who I can, but I'm not a therapist, I'm not a counselor, and I can't just donate my time for free to a lot of people who want me to. So if I do happen to get to one of your stuffs or whatever and I feature it or talk about it or whatever, I feel like sharing it or whatever, just feel special, but don't feel neglected if I can't also do it for you and the next 85 people on the same thread or whatever. It just so happens that some people got in when I had time to fuck with it or whatever. And I do tend to think I'm somewhat of a busy person, but I will take time out to go. I don't even want to say drop some knowledge. I'm basically just trying to help people to get through what I'm doing to help solve the problem faster or better. YouTube's full of videos teaching people how to do shit more efficiently and faster and better and smarter and shit like that. And that's all that I feel this is here too. So is what it is. Uh, my name is Shimmy, Shimmy Cash. You can look me up. This is The Shimmy Show, hashtag The Shimmy Show. If the video is useful to you, just go share it. Hit the share button with one of your peoples or whatever. And subscribe to the channel if you feel like it, if you want to, all right? Uh, and thanks for watching, okay? I hope my information has been helpful and useful to you. Ciao.